Hello, and welcome to another episode of Robert vs. the New Yorker Cryptic. Today we're going to be Sunday, April 3rd, 2022 Cryptic, which is by Pablo Pasco. We may as well um, jump into it. The New Yorker has redone their website. They now do a, or they've redone their puzzles. They now do a daily crossword. Friday is themed. I do actually solve the New Yorker every day. Um, and they've got this new owl logo. Anyway, let's jump into the Sunday, April 3rd crossword by Pablo Pasco. There's a link in the description below if you have a New York Times, if you have a New Yorker Games subscription. Um, although you get a number of free articles per month on the New Yorker and the cryptic, I think, can count. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get into it. Taking second, superlative athlete and Tampa Bay pro lose sight of things. So, Buck somewhere? <coughs> Whoops. Area accommodating new stadium. So arena, it's the word area, uh, accommodating the letter N, which is new. Adult wine drinking rat. Um, uh, R rated. Yeah, red is a wine, it's drinking rat. There you go. Revolutionary Islamic educator pens pointed expressions question mark. Not sure. Breezed through advanced calculus. Exciting department heads. Yeah, I see. Um, it's aced. It's the heads of advanced calculus. Exciting department. Record playing in reverse. Absolutely not. Spooner's entire paper factory is no big deal. So it said. Maybe this will be some kind of spoonerism. Get too old with a joint problem stifling energy. This is age out. Is it? Stifling energy. Oh, gout. Yeah, so gout, it's a gout with, um, whoops, a gout, <laughs> whoops, a gout, stifling energy, E. Assigned blame to detective with no name. CBS lost, takes lost, creating difficulties. Hmm. What? Gotham's commissioner. Robbed banks held captive by henchmen. Gordon? Yeah, goon here. That's henchmen. I think it's Gordon. <laughs> Villain of Fairy Tale in progress, so this is. O G R E for progress being ogre. Shout out to ogre. Brought up first motto of Harvard Lampoon. Brought up first off rather. Is it satire? Definition of lampoon. Brought up. Let's see it. I don't care about censorship. Redaction. It's an anagram of I don't care. Chain of krill heartlessly trapped by a net. So I think this is a net here, right? Oh, anklet? Yeah, krill heartlessly is take the R-I-L out of krill. Trapped by a net. Fix up traps. Take a second superlative athlete. And Tampa Bay Pro lose sight of things. Alright. Fact. 
plain exchanging tails creates embarrassing failure. Short, loudly disparaged neckwear and footwear. Mm. Booty, I think. Boo is to disparage, neckwear is tie. Yeah, loudly disparages to Boo, and that wears Tai. Booty. Oakland baseball player, following followed by a Greek goddess. So it's gotta be Athena. Right? Oakland A's, so A. Followed by uh, A, then uh. Some Greek characters lasted in translation. Deltas is just an anagram of lasted. Rejecting unwanted email is a Google feature. Ah, uh, so it's maps. That's the Google feature, and rejecting means upside down. It's unwanted email, which is spam, I think. Chant sound from chicken with its head cut off. Five? There's only four, though. This is luck, I see, but this is an error. Let's just say four. Yeah, so it's cluck without the C. Mole Hill, I think. I, uh, it's no big deal, it said, so it's mountain out of a mole hill. Spooner's entire paper factory. Uh, I see, whole mill. If you spoonerize the phrase whole mill, you get mole hill. Assign blame, detective with no names. P.I. is detective. Pin on. I see. No name is no an N. Let's go with the crosses now. Revolutionary Islamic educator pens pointed expressions. Question mark. Record playing in reverse? Absolutely not. This one, CBS takes lost, creating difficulties. CBS takes lost. Oh, so this is an anagram of CBS takes? Setbacks. Yeah, the lost means to anagram. Fact. Plain exchanging tales creates embarrassing failure. This is faceplant. And it's just an anagram of fact plain. This is nope. Meaning absolutely not. Record. It's gotta be nope, right? Now this is decimals, pointed expressions. Revolutionary Islamic Educator. Pens. I don't know, but it's decimals for sure. This is satire as well. I don't know why though. Got up first off. I would have left this. Go astray. Okay. I need to figure these out. Uh, fix up traps. Uh, how do I not see this? Oh, spay. Fix upward. Your trap is like your your mouth, like shut your trap, I think. 
So we've got the good old Sunday Mob. Crossword Owl, Lawnmower Lucy, and Jimmy Two Brunches. All right, so let's not look. I'm not gonna look over there. I'm gonna try to figure out Go Astray. Goat, right? Goat is the greatest of all time. Tampa Bay Ray, and it's taking S, which is the second. So it's Goat plus S and Ray, which is exactly what it says right there. R-rated. Okay, this one, let me. So pointed expressions is decimals. Tens. What is this Islamic educator? I think it was Imam. It's not. Oh, 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 it's just an anger mode. Islamic, huh? Oh, Islamic Ed. No. What? Hidden. Hidden Rev? So, Revolutionary Islamic, I think, means anagram Islamic. Educator is Ed. There's the pens, though. Oh, I see, I see. It's not an anagram of Islamic, it's just contained in Islamic Ed. So you turn it around, I say it's a hidden, and it's reversed. I didn't know this one either. Oh, so record is EP. And then on. No, oh, EP on. I see. The record is playing. The EP is on. Got it. Yeah, spoonerism. I always forget what a spoonerism is exactly. Yeah, we got that. Oh, yeah. Why was... So we have goon. Why is RD... Oh, banks. The banks are like the outer edges of the word robbed. I see. Yeah. In progress. Shout out to Ogre. Brought up first motto of Harvard Lampoon. So the definition is Lampoon. The motto of Harvard is Veritas. It's going upward and it's lost the first. It's first is off. Wow. I think Paolo Pasco actually goes to Harvard, is currently an undergraduate there, so a little bit of a self-aggrandizement. <laughs> Shout out to all my other friends who went to Harvard, including um Marks and Stickers and lots of other people. The guy who gifted me the subscription to the New Yorker, also a Harvard alum. Yeah, so here Upward, it's the word spay. It's like if you fix your pet, but this trap mean mouth here? I mean, I know it's going to be slang. Keep your traps su shut. Can But can yap mean mouth? <laughs> young person. Paolo Pasco is a young person. He knows the slang that I don't. Yeah, a person mouth. He should keep his yap shut. Interesting. Yeah, face plant. Boo tie. A then A. Yeah, this is this is an error. So um New Yorker people who are not watching this video, you should fix it. Anyway. Nice little puzzle. Um not overly easy. Just kinda nice. Is there any clue here that I really really delighted me. This molehill one is, is kind of fun. As a spoonerism. This is clever, especially if you went to Harvard. Or have some sort of Harvard affiliation. Yeah, uh, I don't know if any of them really delighted me, but solid puzzle. Not the easiest. Uh, yeah, nice effort. Anyway, Thanks for watching, thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I'll see you next week for some more New Yorker cryptics. See you then.